So this is going to be a dandelion green stir-fry. I like working with Asian sauces because when you, when you get the meld of, of sweet, salty, and um, uh, savory together, it really brings up a notch to the pungency of the wild greens. So today we're using the dandelion, and I'm going to make a quick sauce for a stir-fry. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a nice knob of conventional ginger, and we're going to grate it. We want about a tablespoon of ginger. And then I'm also going to take some field garlic. Now these, this is just the field garlic bulbs. And I'm actually going to grate them too. Make sure you don't get your fingers in there. And if large pieces fall into the mix, it's all right. They're tiny. It must be hard to grate those. Yeah, huh? they're tiny. <clears throat> yeah, end up grating your fingers with them. Yeah. Gotta keep your nails short. So we'll, we'll add those into the stir fry too. Um, and then I'm going to do a squeeze of uh, lime juice. These limes, this one wasn't really juicy. The other one should be juicier. Did you, the limes haven't been that good this year. They haven't been. I mean, they look so inviting too, but then you get them home and you squeeze them and there's just like nothing. Now if that, it, actually if that happens with citrus fruit where you get it home and it's really, there's not a lot of juice in it, just zest the, the outside and add that to whatever dish you're using. And that will instantly add the flavor of the citrus. This one's juicier. This one's better. So that's about a little more than a tablespoon. We're going to start with that. This is one of those recipes where you add a little bit and add a little bit more and then you taste as you go. <laughs> so we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce, not much, maybe a teaspoon. I'm going to add some fish sauce. This is really what's going to give your flavor to the, to the dish. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, coconut sugar. You can use brown sugar, you can use palm sugar. Palm sugar would be traditional to this particular stir-fry because it is um, Thai influenced. And then I'm going to add a little toasted sesame oil. Less than a teaspoon. And some hot sauce. Give it a kick. And you mix this up. Taste it. And if it's to your liking, then that's the sauce for the stir fry. I'm going to try and get all that, the granules of the sugar starting to um, go into the sauce versus stay at the bottom of the bowl. I'll give it a taste. Mm. Perfect, I think. Maybe just a little bit, a little more squeeze of lime, which we can put in now, and we'll also do it at the end. Oh, that's so good. And we're ready to cook. So I just gave these these dandelion greens a rough chop. And I'm going to try to put them over to the side of the cutting board, and I'm going to add a red pepper for color. Now you could throw in any vegetables you want. What, what we also have are some sunchokes that we got from uh, a different farm. Um, and some uh, flowers, which is really um, the periwinkle flowers. So we're going to throw those in too. Why not? It all makes for color and taste. That's right. So we have everything assembled. Let's move over to the pan and we'll put it all together. The pan is nice and hot. And I'm going to put in some coconut oil, probably about a tablespoon of coconut oil. The first thing 
we're going to add are the um, bulbs of the field garlic. Alright, so these, you want to keep them, I mean, my goodness, you can eat them raw, so anything you can eat raw, you don't want to cook too much. We'll leave them nice and, uh, they've only been in the pan maybe a minute. I'm going to add the red pepper. Again, you don't want the pepper to lose too much color before you add your greens. So the dandelion greens have been wilted, which is all I want. Now we're going to add the stir fry sauce. And at this point, if you really want the sauce to thicken, you could add a slurry of arrowroot or um, organic cornstarch. But I'm fine with it being like this. And the last ingredient, I'm going to actually turn off the, the, um, the heat. I'm just going to give a last squeeze of lime. Running. So the last ingredient we want to add is um, our sunchokes. And a little bit of the, um, the flowers from the periwinkle. And again, they don't need much time because we want it, we want them to keep their crunch. I made some rice in advance. This is a wild rice. That's going to be the base for our our greens. So I just had this rice in the oven warming up. And it'll give a nice contrast, the dark rice against the greenery. So this is our, our uh, Asian stir-fry, but dandelions. Dandelions. Yeah, and yeah. I'm so excited because this is the time to really harvest and eat them. Yeah, springtime. They talk Actually. about dandelions being fantastic cleanser. So, you know, mm -hmm. everybody's doing those cleanses in the spring. And this, is, sure. this yep. is one of the bitter herbs you should be eating, or the bitter greens you should be eating, right? Yes, exactly. exactly. So. So, who's going to go in? Let me, let me get in here first. Yeah. I want to have some of this. It looks so darn good. It does. And I like, this, I like the large um, chop of the sunchokes. Yes. Because that it, gives a nice contrast. Yes, it does. Because everything else is, is kind of small. And... All right. Well, that's enough to be getting on with. Except I do want to have a, a flower or two. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Not only do they look beautiful, they're going to taste beautiful. And then the field garlic bulbs in there as well. Really yeah. Crunch. Yeah, I really love leaving, leaving them whole. They just add a, a, an interesting aspect to things. Yeah, you're right. All right, so here we go. Let's give this a try. All right. Mm. Mm. You know had said that there might be the greens might be a little bitter mm -hmm. due to the fact that we harvested them when they were flowering. But let me tell you, the, the the contrast with the sauce really gives it a nice flavor. I think I so. I don't think it's too bitter at all. I don't. I don't sense anything anything in the way of bitterness. No, it's a very nice balance. Very distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. And you know you're eating dandelion greens, and that's good. Mm. 
and the crunch of the sunchoke, mm -hmm. which, as you say, in spring, they're at their sweetest. Yeah. And then, this is a taste treat as well. That's good. <laughs> I have to say, I've been eating wild greens for years, but it wasn't until I met Lisa that I realized how incredibly delicious they could be. <laughs> well, here's to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs>